This is the Taiwan Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. And of course, on this show, we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories and definitely analyze them. I've got my interesting co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shike. What up? Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. I'm in a good mood. So sunshine. Yeah. Uh, the sun shines <laughs> your screen, baby. <laughs> That means something. Mm? Ah. ah. Mm. Oh, you had headphones on. Mm. Well, she's been short shining us now. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm. Great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the stories of a conversation. Legendary Nigerian musician Majek Fashek will be buried in New York, United States, where he died. This announcement was made by his son, Randy. He said the decision was based on the family exhausting all resources to bring home to bring him home. Um, naming COVID-19, racial injustice, political problem, governmental um, incorporation, and many more as some of the economical problem, which made it impossible for the remains of Majek Fashek to be brought home. He also asked that we focus on his legacy rather than the little details before that. Mm. It's yeah. a long time since he's mm. been gone. So, so I guess they've really been trying to yeah. bring him home. Yeah, because I was like, ah, he's not been, uh, he's not been buried. Yeah. Uh, so I can imagine that it's kind of like a tough place to be in. It is. Um, having to, the urgency of wanting to lay your loved one at rest, but then uh, it hurts knowing that his body isn't going to be laying at home. I know mm -hmm. there's quite a lot of people that would have wanted access to that and being able to share in that closure as well. But I think it's what it is. I like how the, the son really um, analyzed mm -hmm. everything and explained everything. There was a lot of transparency. Oh, no, it's not that Shalaya was never necessary. So I was mm -hmm. really moved by the fact that they took that the much to effort Shalai. to explain everything that was going on and give enough reasons as to why, even though the reasons seemed a bit more deep than they were even like putting it. When they said COVID-19, I was like, okay, yeah. sure. But when they started mentioning like racial injustice, I'm like, oh, okay. So obviously it's been a lot more messy in the back backstage than we are aware of, which is quite sad. I don't know why the, I know it's hard to transfer bodies and stuff, but I don't know why the Amer American government wouldn't allow Nigeria to at least have Majek Fashik back home where he Two should years, be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and I, I think you put it the right way because um, what I took away from all of that is not just the COVID-19 pandemic that is um, making it quite impossible or difficult for them to lay Majak Fashek in his um, motherland, but um, basically his other circumstances on things that are beyond their control and they have been forced to back up to a corner and just do what is right because they can't keep leaving the man like that they need to lay him to rest regardless and i like the fact that he also said that he knows this may not sit well with a lot of people knowing that a lot of people actually want to be part of we've been part of magic for Sheikh's legacy one way or another either by listening to his music by buying his records or watching him do all his performances and all of that so i think it would have been nice to have like a full you know, true fans out here, like Nigerian true fans present at his funeral, and um, we're not going to be getting that. So, mm. may so rest in perfect peace. And I like yeah. the fact that he also said um, we should forget we should forget about the things that happened in recent times and just think about his legacy. There's mm. no point speaking here about the dead. So let's just focus on all the good things he's done. Okay, uh, I, I like the part where you said his um, fans, I mean, fans from the motherland would love to be part of it. So I still think some form of arrangements can be made, maybe virtually, of course, mm. for people to be able to join, maybe have a candle night. Uh, or I think something. it would have always, I think I think it always been virtual, even if it was in Nigeria. I think mm. it's even after the body was laid. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think people will be able to control themselves that much. I mean, we've seen prominent people die and how their fans come out and forget COVID-19. So sure, sure. if the body of Majek Fasha gets to Nigeria, that might happen. Mm. So now that he's not coming, I think they can still create something that would help um, his fans connect in one way or the Is other. Should give it a zone, tombstone right, you know? here or something? Maybe? I don't know. I'm sure they'll figure it out, mm. but um, may he so keep resting in peace. 
Okay, moving on to the next story. Kanye West unveils criminal justice reform and classroom prayers as part of his presidential plans. He says if elected, he will reintroduce classroom prayers. He is calling, he's also calling for police overhauling to ensure Americans are treated the same, regardless of race, color, and ethnicity, and also wants to restructure America's education system to serve the most at risk and vulnerable populations and promote creativity and the arts while also reducing students' loan debt criminal justice system is like um stating the obvious i expected that to be part of the things he would do knowing that his wife is um, passionate about that subject matter in particular but um the classroom prayers i have a big issue with that because you're not letting us know if if i'm a muslim and i'm in class i'll be subjected to pl to be praying as a christian so i hope there will be diversity in religion when it comes to the classroom so we'll just prayers. use the whole day to pray now hmm. no no pray your language is pray pray to whoever you know, i'm saying if, like yeah I'm, if, you, if you're a muslim pray as a muslim in the group while we call for okay, the classroom so, okay, prayer so they'll probably give them like time. five minutes and yeah do your so do your prayers in whatever religion you believe in dude go and just bring your house like, i think there's a place and time for such things um overall he's he's the problem I have with the whole lineup is that it's too much of Kanye than of, than of America. Um, and that is the problem. It's too As much of trying to impose your beliefs. Your, yes, on, your personal, yeah. so your interests, what you actually vibe with more so than what is the total benefit of um, you know, the country as a whole and considering every single person. It was a bit too democratic for my liking, which is why I'm still not understanding why he doesn't see that as a problem for the greater good of, of America. If you claim that it, it really has nothing to do with um, supporting Trump and uh, watering down the votes for Biden. Joe Biden, why is your... Um, your, your compilation of um, what manifesto now so democratic one meaning that you're you're not competing with um, Donald Trump you're competing with Joe Biden and you're sharing the same analogies as that I would think that if you're going to disturb yourself and give that yourself that much headache and say you want to run for president you'll be offering me something completely different that I have not seen before but what you're offering me now obviously is um, a look-alike of, of um, Joe Biden's manifesto, plus the fact that you just are obsessed with your ego and your traits and beliefs and system is running into that. I don't think there's any space for mixing certain things with the church. Um, I think that the church needs to be preserved, as well as the educational system needs to be preserved. As much as, And the people who want both for their children, take them to certain schools like that. So you take them to a Muslim-oriented school or take them to a Christian school, and he needs to be able to know that type of difference. First of all, he even has mental issues. So... I don't see how that is not in the conversation mm. as to whether or not somebody with that type of um, flared up condition is allowed Should to run the president. I mean, I said it straight up the last Nigeria. time. He shouldn't. Nigeria. Uh, America. <laughs> He shouldn't be president. And I think you've wasted too many good English on this topic because there's no point analyzing this because even if Kanye West is ever going to be president, because it's never, say never, right? Mm. It's not going to be in this election <laughs> right so let's not just waste too much time on this and i hope that if this is really to um break from joe biden's um votes then he's probably doing a good job at, yes. at it and I, I i just wish them well in selection because this is just um too much for me i don't think kanye west should be president that's the only thing i really need to say there's no point analyzing this <laughs> manifesto because it is not the point of it's not the bone of contention right now mm -hmm. he he's not capable as far as i'm concerned mentally so um I'm, i mean brain in classroom i think you said it you said it right if you want your children to be able to have that christian background embedded in their education there are schools uh, made for that as well so if you were coming to a normal public school or a, a you get what i mean and you want mm -hmm. them to like represent prayer then how many religions are you going to actually represent are you mm -hmm. going to say because we just have one muslim then let's forget about mm -hmm. it and have the christian prayer you know so I, I that is one part that is not sitting well but every other thing of course there are things people have talked about and want to get better so Kanye West, good luck to him, and at least we'll always say one-time former um, presidential candidate, mm. right? Cool. Good for his manifesto and profile as well. Tea Time continues right after this short break with more stories. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still...
end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. I'm just in Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi. Like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome mm. back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Tonto DK receives appointment from Committee of Youth and Mobilization, Youth on Mobilization and Sensitization as Director for Socials and Empowerment. Wonderful and great. Do you agree? With what? The position. I think that's the, like, your, if I borrow your word, bone of contention on social media. If they, they agree with her being yes. on, in that position. Yes. To me, if you ask me that question, my answer would be no, because um, you don't represent the values of the youth. What's you is have, the values of the youth? The values of the youth is by upholding what is right, and um, you've been in a lot what of controversies. Right? You've, she's been in a lot of controversies that has put her in a very bad light and doesn't really stand as a good role model for a lot of youth. So why are you taking that position? It's just like what we've been saying all over again, people getting roles that they don't even have the capacity to handle or the, or what's it called now, the image to uphold because it's, it's something that you need to, so you to be youth empowerment, for you to be speaking again, um, send, what's, what's the word, sensitization, what's the word of this, um, <laughs> that he's talking about, like, come on, like, it's not a ton to decay, we need um, in that position. Okay. I need somebody I, I would that would actually, actually need you. I don't know what your take is on this part. one, but I actually need you to kind of like point to those things that you would say she has done or has come up in her life that now makes her the worst candidate to be in this position because fighting in dubai fighting in dubai uh, your 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 saying your your point of even saying the worst candidate is not the focus is she the best candidate, candidate for that position because i think personally mm -hmm. that she's done quite a lot for people she what has, you see about onto dk yeah. is when she begins to display madness, her five yeah. minutes of madness which i think every madness. no hold on which i think everybody has no matter how you I want to come it. out if you, to form, to you are creating an image this is not a position of power please it is a it is what to would i call them now an organization um, there to inspire other youths and has Tonto DK actually done a lot with her platform and her foundation and for people yes hmm. just that you are not following so, her so, Tonto DK inspires you in that regard mm. absolutely I feel like she's one of those people that ha, ha, she has the most one of the most strongest effect on me because I undermine her if that makes mm -hmm. sense like because I see her as somebody that is in the limelight for a lot of unseriousness and the way she handles her personal life is a bit like raz to me when I catch her with all those things, I almost want to stop to listen. She's mm -hmm. the only person that I've seen get so involved, so involved in people's lives that mean nothing in Nigeria. When it comes to all the cases that were happening in the East about um, the lady that, the, the child that was raped, and two years after the person, re they released him based on good behavior, a lot of celebrities came out to write, quote unquote, in their stories and everything. Tonto DK was the only single celebrity that joined the walk to make sure that that person went back into it. Another person that I was... Even when COVID-19 started. Mm -hmm. Yes. She's done a lot of giving. Shared out. The shared out. The COVID-19 testing. social media and give and will. I've seen people who um, focus on that and and that's when I noticed because I don't see it on her page and I don't really see her make that much noise. But that James boy, the <laughs> that James boy, <laughs> I was Cotton. looking, yeah, okay. yes. Okay. And I saw how much of the stuff that he was talking about with Tonto Dick and I was like, really? This same Tonto Dick. So for me, I don't think that she is under deserving. I, I'm, am I going to completely dismiss the fact that, yes, her you know, level of perfection isn't the greatest. I'm mm. not going to disagree to that. But I think sometimes to that can work in your favor to understand that not, not everyone is actually that perfect. Nobody and I think these perfect. youths that you are claiming the values are not the same. I think we can, if anybody can relate to that in Nigeria, it would be the youths that can relate to the fact that you have tendencies to misbehave or be irresponsible in certain aspects of your life. Mm. But if you give 
there's nothing wrong with being um, cheered for that. Mm. I was so saying. she's getting on um, this merit based mm -hmm. on her giving or philanthropy. Not based on her giving. Based, based on the fact, fact that, that she's, she's even capable of doing because this. Because it's because she's interested in people's yeah. well-being. You cannot be giving in the kind of structural way she's doing it if, not, if, if you are not interested in mm. seeing that people get better. So, yes, the media and bloggers and all that will and always be interested too. and Tonto too will be interested to magnify things when it has to do with her um whatever fighting or talking about things that are not necessarily <laughs> necessary mm. but it's don't to dk putting the work i think she is and for this rule i have there to even look are, up the rule as well i think there's some people. roles that i would worry about if don't dk was placed in there i'm not gonna lie but social i look at the specifics fine. of this one <laughs> of empowerment social and everything fine. social there's nothing fine. wrong but empowerment no um i think there are a lot of people that are empowering a lot she of has the role anyway we'll away. keep an we're eye now about to see Ocean, what she the slum to school guy oh. we're talking about different people that have done so Ocean cannot much. do everything for everybody now I yeah mean. but we're talking about so, there's so many other people that have done so much that fit this position i'm sure they touch everybody to fly they'll get Banky their own w too. oh lord no tonto is definitely not my candidate Okay, but she has it, so good luck to her, and I hope she does more with this um, platform as she has always Hopefully. done. Yeah. Um, moving on to the next story, which is something that has to do with youth as well. Um, how are you different from a fraud star? This is tools and for files tackling Desiane over her Yahoo Boys comments. So, Auntie had is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am so uninterested that I'm not take, I'm not taking out time to go and actually see that she video mm. and how she said it. That clip is enough for me. Um, but what do you think about what Tools and Files are saying? Uh, it's it's the absolute truth. I think in her lecture, because that's when I find it, I it it, it did sit well with me when she was talking about the fact that her issue is that youths are now emu uh, emu emulating, emulating Yahoo boys. the Yahoo Boys, which is funny because I think the Yahoo Boys are em emulating their leaders. Um, if you go to a mm. country where you find people are working hard on your matter, you see that the level of crime to steal from those same people or, or destroy the work of those same people is very, very little. You find that a lot of them is in that circumstance. Like, I don't know, I don't have to explain it. The, the um, cases are more severe and not as common as this. Here, people are just doing what they are taught. If I'm living in a world, if I'm living in a country where as soon as I wake up, I'm already being told that you're not relevant. If anything happens, you're on your own. I go to, the, I go to work, same thing. I go to hospital, same thing. As little as just driving your car on the road, the road will tell you that you're not in a place mm. that cares about your safety. You open the tap, you know you're not in a country that cares about your health. So why would you think that these people are not also influenced by you, the person that, that's talking? It's the height of hypo hypocrisy. Do I think that Nigerians tend to be a bit too... Mm, Extra. Yeah, with how we talk to the <laughs> politicians, yes. But then again, it's like... Um, looking at the symptoms are not the problem. The reason why they're talking like that is the same point I'm trying to reiterate that they're not respecting themselves mm. and all that. So it's as much as we always say, yes, you you're not um, guilty until proven guilty. She also has not been entirely exonerated, yeah. really. So I don't think she's. It, this is the first time I'm really going to say this too. I don't think she's in the best position to be having that kind of lecture yeah. or that kind of conversation and telling people who to look up to and who not to look up to. Mm. Are you the kind of person we should look yeah. up to? If they're not looking up to Yahoo boy, so sis um, or mommy. <laughs> should they, she's the one, when I said hush mommy in the yeah, previous episode, that was okay. the name they gave her for this um, conversation. I mean, we have people that we would gladly look up to. People like um, um, Gozi Okonjo mm. Like There are a lot of them. I can't start mentioning them now. So I don't think she she had the right to even maybe she could have said it without trying to drag yahoo boys yeah. or trying to point fingers when the remaining four is right at you you know so that's just how i feel about it you know um in most cases i'll say um don't blame the messenger sometimes just listen to the message to the message now she had a lot of message in it it's hypocritical for her being on the investigation for fraud and um um, corruption and all of that. Yes, it's hypocritical. But if I'm invited to go and speak in a church, even if I do not believe in God, I will you speak right in a religious light. Are they so, your figures? Don't well, decline. What are you that, doing that's, in the church? That's exactly where I'm getting to. So should she have taken the speech if she knew this was the area 
that she was required to speak upon, knowing that she's under investigation, she yeah. should have declined. But the fact that she didn't decline and she did it, so I took, I, I took look away. Looks innocent, I guess. Huh? So I guess it makes her look in her mind. Well, if, the, if that's innocent. a strategy, it failed woefully, right? But um, if I'm invited to go and speak in the church, I will prepare something like that too. But I think she should have just declined, knowing that she's still under investigation. But people coming down at her like that, did she make sense? Absolutely. Is she the right person to be spreading that gospel? No. But did she make sense? So because we should look at the message. Yeah, the, the message. message is you see that one. I, that one. I, that that one. I cannot. I, that one. I cannot. I cannot even agree one single bit. I think mm. the person that carries the message is probably as important as the messenger themselves, um, especially when it comes to things like that. Plus, those people, tools and files, not just those two, those people. Tools and files never actually complained about what she said either. They complained about the messenger. Mm. They were saying that you don't have the right to explain about the same crime that you are going into. Even if, let's say, we take your metaphor and say that this person actually agreed to go to church to go and preach. There's some things that I can talk about that I have strengths in. Rather than saying, ah, prostitute, so don't do this. When me, myself, I have one sugar daddy <laughs> waiting for me with his belly out for me to come and do my, my deeds. It's kind of weird. I feel like she should have arranged herself. Maybe I could talk about my giving because me, I give, you know, and I'm mm -hmm. good at that. But it's, it's not just hypocritical. Me, it's an absolute joke and ridiculous if you think that you can stand and preach because people are not going to have to listen to the messenger because your message is making sense. Then I can type and... Yeah, I, feel, and, and, I feel like whatever message you're giving, the fact that you have been called upon to stand up and, and deliver that message, it has something to do with the lifestyle you have led and what you portray as well. And it, it goes beyond what people say, which is why for the longest time, it's now that people are calling people out. I've always been doing it when I feel like what you're tweeting is mm. not... Remember when the conversation used to be on Twitter and they would tell you, I'm not my tweets i'm mm. like how do you even <laughs> say that mm. and it makes sense to mm. you maybe if you come out and tell me which is what i know for myself that yes there are different parts uh, to me mm. that you will see in my tweet you cannot say oh this is what lc will say today i can wake up i'm talking about food tomorrow is fitness mm. today's politics you know that is mm. to tell you that i'm living this life and that's how multifaceted the life is but if you're coming to sound very ridiculous and stupid online and you're saying this is not me when you meet me in person you will know me I don't understand who is tweeting it and who are you? Do you understand? Your alter ego. So <laughs> <laughs> your alter ego is you as well. Anyway, mm. so I, I think that as much as we say let's separate the uh, message from the messenger, the messenger as well carries that message. And if you're not the person to carry the message, then it will be difficult for you to land properly. Yeah, that's I think that's well put. It will be difficult for you to land properly, and it, which is what has What's happened to her. Uh, it's, it has become so difficult for her to land, but was the message well detailed? Was it something that if somebody that had integrity had come out to say, we would be like, whoa, thumbs up, and we'll probably stand up and give that person a stand innovation. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was well put together. If she wrote it, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, hush mommy. <laughs> Thank you if for that message. If Fair has corrupt, taken it. Corrupted Right. Okay, but if, it, if we're going to even analyze and say that young, young boys or young people using um, fraudsters as role models, I even feel like even that statement itself is exaggerated. It's, a, it's exaggerated. I don't know anyone who's going to think, well, it's so nice. Fam, if you had it in you to go and do that life, you don't need any old boy to come and do that. And I feel like these, um, what's it called, these leaders. Picking so much at Yahoo boys is a very childish and immature way to analyze things. Have you given them an alternative? Is the point. How many people can actually say that if I fin first of all, I can finish school? You've you've claimed to give people food mm -hmm. schemes, it's not there, they can't focus on school, they can't get there safely because before they get to before they walk from home to work, the police person has come to come and harass them, and then they finally finish, there's no jobs because you've given all your family members. And like, even if there is a job, the job can never sustain, sustain them. them. Have you actually given a solution? If people are now being really greedy to now say a lot of the a lot of the times people are just trying but, to survive. But a lot of youth also not working as hard as they should because they feel like they have to the I think a lot of youth are working harder. I, I, I agree to that. I'm not saying that that's not possible, but you cannot say that the um, percentage of people who are also trying really hard and don't have that yeah. many options. I know a lot they? of people that um, are, what's it called, super educated. They have the certificate, but they'll tell you, I'll never work for nobody. They'd rather press the computer. 
Pressing computer is not a problem. What, what are you pressing? Exa computer? Exactly. Name, but you, yeah. I, it was just a oh, metaphorical. No, let's be clear. No, let's be clear. That, that, that metaphorical that, 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 that is, that, that is, is oh, a stereotype that's causing problems. Yeah. Please, you can, you can I press no, computer. Yeah, too. and benefit boys. Pressing. Okay. <laughs> That's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, you go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa yes, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. Thank you.